Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey, thanks for joining us on today's video. You listen, this may be the lowest mileage Eldorado Baritz in the entire world. And you know what else we're gonna do? This is claimed to be original paint. Lots of people claim to have original paint cars, original this and that. I'm gonna prove today uh, how you can tell for sure without a doubt. Don't need to be an expert. Don't even need to know what you're doing, which exactly who I am. I got no idea what I'm doing, but I do have a tool that's gonna show us today how cool it is to see a time capsule like this. This car is 25,436 original miles on it. We're talking about a car, somebody's baby, that was driven less than 1,000 miles a year. And when you look at this thing, all the stickers are under the hood, look really great. Every piece around it all looks like it's like brand new, garage kept. I'm not sure how many times this car's seen the sun, but uh, it's uh, all right, enough of my talking, let's do this, all right? So uh, the one thing I wanna do is I wanna walk around and show you uh, something here. Now this is kind of cool, so check this out. This is a digital paint gauge, all right? All right, so the way the paint gauge works is it measures the, the thickness of the paint. So imagine a car being painted at the factory, it's all within one to two mils of the reading on each panel. Um, if, a, if a car's painted a body shop or something like that, then obviously uh, they're gonna paint the fender. They're not gonna care or even know how to get the paint exactly the same thickness as the rest of the panels on the car. They just want it to match. But this tells us here uh, a different story. So check this out. So right here, so 3.5 right here, that's the fender. Here's the hood. Again, 3.5. 4.5, so depending on you know how the car rolled down um, the assembly line, right? Okay, so check this out. 4.0 for the door. So as we keep walking around, everything's kind of consistent. 3.0, and then sometimes a little thicker in other places, okay? And like here's a trunk, 4.0, all right? So, that's the kind of stuff you need to be looking at and going, wow, that is amazing. Are you kidding me? Like this car survived? This car survived 30 plus years. This is 2015, okay? And again, it's all within two mils thickness of each other all the way around. And when you see a panel that's been repainted, it jumps up four or five mils. Pretty cool, huh? Anyway, so that's how you authenticate a real deal survivor. This is a survivor. You get tried to somebody that wants to sell you a survivor car or claims it to be a survivor car, you gotta have this tool here because only that's gonna tell you what's original and what's not, all right? So, as we walk around this car, let's talk a little bit about the styling. If we could come around this way for a second, I wanna show you some stuff, all right? The original style Goodyear's here, okay? The wire wheel covers, all stock. All of this, body side molding, the dealer probably either put on or uh, was checked off on the, on the factory. The Abiritz package, all right, adds some really nice touches, all right? For instance, like uh, some of the stainless here, all right? This stainless roof treatment, which is beautiful. When you hear stainless roof treatment, uh, sometimes you're like, wow, that sounds gaudy. No, this is really nice. Because first off, the drip rail is molded into the roof, okay? And it just fits the car really, really well. Walk around this car, the back end is tight. This is an elegant looking car, it really is. Like look at these tail lights like this, little red pinstripe to kind of uh, tie everything together. All the Cadillac call outs. This lets people know that this Eldorado is a little different than the other Eldorados that are out there. All right, so let's check this out here because this is really, again, another small thing uh, on the car that makes a big deal. For instance, these are the original decals here, all right? These are original uh, stickers from the assembly line, all right? Come on over here for a second and look at the engine still has nice black paint on it. It's the 4100, it's fuel injected, and most people don't know that these are front wheel drive. And what a lot of people don't know also is that they're four wheel independent suspension like a Corvette, all right? Add in some of the luxury features like power steering, uh, power four wheel disc brakes, the fuel injection, uh, ride control, just all kinds of cool things. Hemi Charger just going by right there. Sorry about that. I got lost my train of thought. It's like seeing your hot wife walk by and just, wow, how you doing? Your wife's your wife. That's cool. I love that. Okay, so um, again, this is the kind of car you could take to a car show. This is a car you could show nationally. And the reason I say that is, where are you going to find another? 
you're gonna be the only guy at that show with this low of mileage and this car like this. It's just amazing. So wait till we get inside, you're gonna go, wow, this is incredible. But I wanted to show you this because you could see all of the decals and stickers are still here from the factory, okay? And that's a great indication of how really authentic it is. This is a car that could be voted and win easily a survivor category. All right, so like all the little things, like the trunk light works, right? The jacking instructions are in here nice and clear. This is really cool because this is the sticker here. Back in the day, uh, they have you guys, a lot of people have heard of things called a build sheet, uh, fender tags and stuff like that. Those were the codes that were used to build the cars that went down the assembly line. Well, these are the same codes that they moved to this system here to build the cars and go down the assembly line. So they knew to pull a red interior, red carpet kit, this was a, a Beritz, so it has like it's a stainless trim. You know, all these little things are coated out on this tag to authenticate it even more. The trunk is beautiful. It's had this rubber mat in it since the beginning of time. Look at this carpet, right? This is a 30-year-old mat, <laughs> and it's incredible shape, and even smells nice inside the trunk. It smells like a fresh car. Like this truck car has been garaged, kept, uh, you know, when it was home, and if they drove it to work once in a while. That was garage kept there. It's just beautiful. And little stuff like even the trunk pull down works. Cool. All right, come on inside. Let's check out where you're going to spend most of your time. All right. So, remember I was telling you earlier about the car being front wheel drive. A lot of people didn't know that. Well, the great thing about having a front wheel drive car is you don't need a drive shaft and all those things to go through the back. And so they're able to make the floor nice and flat. Okay, look how easy it is to throw six people in here now. Three up here, three in back, but it's, uh, it's amazing the packaging that they put together as well as throwing in the luxury too. So um, this is the original floor mats on the car, right? The floor mats are original. All the little lights inside work. I don't know if you can see back here. If you could take a peek in here and just look at how nice this is. Even the seat belts have the shine on them. The lights in the back, the opera lights work like they're supposed to. It's just like a little time capsule, man. Just so freaking cool. I love this stuff. So in this car here, remember, you're getting a lot of luxury stuff. Dual power seats, right? Power antenna, climate control, uh, electronic radios had just kind of come out at the time. So that was exciting. Showing 25,400. You know, I'll probably have a few miles on it because I want to drive it just uh, uh, around the block a few times or whatever. But it's going to be uh, one great low mileage car. It has, also has telescopic steering. It's got tilt wheel, it's got cruise control, it's got uh, uh, Twilight Sentinel, which turns the headlights on and off. I mean, it really is loaded with so much stuff, and uh, the fuel injection makes it nice because all you do is... Radio works like it's supposed to. I don't know if you want to listen to... It's nice. What a cool piece, man. You know, normally we rev them up because, uh, you know, they're loud and proud, but this is just exactly like it's supposed to be. Quiet, beautiful inside, runs fabulous. All right, so we're going to close up the video with a simple statement that I find all the time when people come in and go, wow, that's a great car, uh, but I saw one. Uh, I saw one just like it. Well, no, you didn't see one just like it because this is the only one of its kind. There is no 25,000 mile car just like this. This is it, man. You go to a car show, you're gonna be the only guy with it. And as these cars continue to go up in value because as they get older and the mileage stays low, it's wonderful. Not, not on top of the fact that if you wanted to make it a daily driver, you could, and it is an awesome car for the money to cruise around in. So anyway, call us 301-816-1000. We'll make sure that uh, uh, we find a great home for this car. All right, 84 Eldorado Barrettes.